Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> We're gonna go to the market and buy some fruit. Hi. Right. She's not happy. She doesn't want to go. <laughs> Do you love me? No. Love me. Okay. Let's go. No. <laughs> Eat for fun day. Just for Posse Gay. What is she doing? Really hot. So she had to bang it against the ground, the kavat, which I don't know how to translate into English, but it's a fruit. And she banged it on the ground and now is opening it. Baby, girl or boy? Jenny, I'm glad. Jenny, girl. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh,
Here you go. And now I have to drink water. Oh. I said this would help with the no water in my mouth. I help. It's good. This is my favorite fruit. Actually, it's one of my favorite fruits. Me too, me too. And her too, her too, her too. It's salmon. So it's hairy on the outside and then you have to break it open. And the inside, it's kind of like a grape, but it does have a seed in it. So, yeah, yeah, me too. So you just kind of. Eat the whole thing. I'm gonna spit out the seed. And it's really juicy and sweet. It's very, it's very delicious. My parents liked it when they came to visit, and then they brought it back to America. And my, they didn't bring it back to America. They found it in America. They bought it, and the people at my mom's work were afraid of it and wouldn't eat it. But you really should. If you ever see it, you should eat it because it's delicious. Now we're gonna eat. I have no idea what it is in English. She says it's sweet, but I, I honestly have no like clue what it is in English. So it's sweet. It's really sweet. Like very sweet. It kind of tastes like fig. I'm definitely. I like the salmon better. Here, you eat the rest. Go. What are you eating? Langan. in Khmer. Mian. I like mian. Mian's good. It also has a pit in the middle. So. It's delicious. And I'm going to eat the milk fruit. It's not soft. It's good. It tastes good. It's got seeds though. It's not difficult to eat. Seeds are difficult to eat. Gotta be careful on them. Oh, it's got a big seed. I like it. It's like sweet. The milk. It's sticky. It's really sticky. Like if it gets on your lips, your lips stick together. Okay. So she's got dragon fruit, which is a really cool fruit. That's it when it's all together. And then when you cut it, in the inside is what you eat. It looks like that. Okay, ready? Where are we going? Taylor, good job. Yes. We're going to the Taylors. Apparently, I'm getting a new shirt. She needs her dress taken out. She ate too much. Um, and we're meeting my host mom there. Okay. So what are we doing? What are we doing? Oh, yeah, I'm going to play a little bit. Oh, cut out what I'm going to play a little bit. So we have to look at the different options. So we looked through all the books and we picked this shirt but with these flowers. <laughs> that shirt. That shit. These flowers. <laughs> and the flowers go in the back.
It's time for us to wrap it up for the weekend. Um, today was a lot of fun, so thanks for watching and kind of coming along for it. A lot of the food part was for Posse Gay back home in America because she wanted to see food, and I told them that here. And they were just like, all right, let's do it. Let's have a day where we show people about the food that we eat. So that was really cool. And then you saw that we went to the tailor. And in one of my first videos, when we go to Takayo, I got an outfit, like a Kamai outfit. And my host mom got that for me. And then yesterday, she said she wanted to get me another shirt, like have it made. And so we went to the tailor today. And I think she ended up buying the whole outfit to have it made. So I'm going to get another one. And they're not cheap and like she gets them for me which is so sweet and when I first came here like moved into this house I had a really really hard time adjusting to life with my host mom and she got on my nerves a lot because some of it was a lack of language skills on my part like we just couldn't communicate and there was cultural differences and then some of it was just that I am not used to having a hover mother by any stretch of the imagination and she was like Ch -ch 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 helicopter coming in and that was really frustrating for me but I had a lot of support from Peace Corps and a lot of help in kind of adjusting to it and I'm so glad that I stuck it out because you can see in the videos like my family is amazing and I'm so lucky to have them and they're just so kind to me and they go above and beyond what I think a lot of host families do and give to their volunteers and so it really kind of goes to show you like sometimes you gotta stick it out and you have to give people a chance because for the most part people are good and she's a really good person and it was not easy at the beginning but now I'm like I'm getting really kind of spoiled over here from my host mom but I'm very lucky and my little sister is just like she is she's my little sister like through and through I adore her so I'm very very lucky and I've also been so lucky this weekend in a lot of people who've watched my videos sharing the bathroom concert that my sister and I did and I appreciate that so much for everyone who has liked our videos, shared them. Thank you so much. That means the world to me. And now I have to go to sleep because it was a long day and I'm tired. So good night and much love to you from Cambodia.